class has begun and you could go ahead and start. I am recording the um, stuff, right? So you could go ahead, Stacey. Okay. okay. Good afternoon, guys. We are going afternoon, to look at Miss. Thank you. We're going to look at the May 2019 um, EDPM paper. I believe you guys can probably see it on your screen. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those of us who are looking at the 2019 paper, do you all have access to a laptop? Yeah. 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 Some of us? Yeah, me too. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through the paper. So the plan for today is this. I'm going to go through the paper with you guys today. And I am going to tell you exactly what you have to do. However, you guys will have to try it out on your, on your own. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go through the paper. I'm going to go through all of the instructions. And you guys could ask me any questions you will want to ask. But how, how, however, the actual doing of the paper, you will have to conduct it, right? Uh, yeah? Yeah, miss. Okay. So we are looking, could, could everybody see the paper? It's May, June 2019. Everybody seeing it? Yeah. 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 Paula, can you scroll to the, to the second page? Sure. Thank you. Right. Uh, I don't think I have the remote anymore. Press it down on our own keyboard. No, I Does don't anybody have, have No, does oh, anybody okay. have access to it? Nathaniel, can you? Ah, uh, yeah, miss, I have control over now. I was, okay, I had to pull on the PC. Okay, okay, no. Don't worry, Paula has it back. Don't worry, thank you so much. All right, guys, so we're looking at question 2A. Question 2A says, uh, question 2A number one, it says, produce the required document following all in instructions. Okay, number two. It says, use A4 or letter size paper. Do we have to change any, any certain for that, guys? Uh, no. no no we don't right we don't why because a4 or letter size paper is the default paper size that comes up in microsoft word right therefore we don't have to make any um, changes there got that yeah yep. yeah okay it says create a suitable letterhead with an appropriate logo using the information below how are we going to create this letterhead anybody let me hear Anybody, any ideas how we create another logo? Oh, the logo, uh, <laughs> can't go into online pictures and search like for one. Like use um, your pictures, yeah. Okay, so, so, okay, so, so give me step by step. If you guys have to do this on your own, how you all, how you all are going to do it? Tell me, I want the step by step oh. instruction. Go ahead, insert, look for, I don't really know what you have to look for. So the first thing we're doing, we're going into Word to get, to get a blank document, right? So that's your first yeah. instruction. So you, so, so you could, you could jot down points as we have to go along. So when you start the question, you know exactly what you have to do, right? So for question 2A, the application that we are using is Microsoft Word. That's, that's the first thing, right? Secondly, we have to create a logo. We have to create a letterhead and we are using an appropriate logo. What feature is an unappropriate logo? Anybody? I'm not too sure about the letterhead, Miss, but I know how to add the logo. When we talk about logo, what are we talking, talking about? Tell me. Are they talking about an image? An image, very good. So when the question says to use an appropriate logo, we are speaking about an image. Tell and the contact info for it. Exactly where in Word are we going to type that? The header. Very good. So that's, so that's the feature, right? All right. Good. So you are on a blank document in Word, and to create that and to create that letterhead, you are you are supposed to do it in a header. You all okay with that? Yeah. 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 
Where yeah. do we go? Where do we go now to get the option for header? Can you remember? Where do we go to get the option for that? In so, uh, I was just very good. Happy talk, you know? Yeah, check it. Those of you who on your laptop, you can check it. So you go to Mr. insert and you would see a grouping there called header and footer, and you'll see an option there called header. Yeah, I Yeah. And you all could just use the first the first um header header option there. Are we okay with that? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Yeah, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So you are so fine fine dine restaurants and catering services, the address and the telephone and email at the bottom. You will have to type that in your header. You are also going to put an image that is relevant to fine dining. You are going to put an image as well. You would include that in your header. And more than likely, you, you should put the image on the left hand side. Got that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what formatting features are you guys seeing on that header? Even though the question doesn't say, what, what are you all seeing? Let us operate wait, wait. Look at the, look at how it's typed. Look at look at the formatting for it. How does it look? Oh, censored. I want to say. Very good. Very good. So when you type the information, it's going in your header. Your logo or your picture is going to the left of that, and those three lines and put it in three lines. Those three lines you'll have to what? Put it to the center of the header. Got that? Yeah. 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 And when you all have finished with the header. Usually, you, 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 would see an, uh, you would see an option on the toolbar, and there's an option there called close header and footer. When you're finished creating, yeah, when you're finished creating the header and footer, there's an option that says close header and footer. When you click on close header and footer, you will now get back to your main document. Understood? Mm -hmm. uh, what, color, what color would your letterhead look when you, clo when you click close header and, and I mean footer? Blue? No. What's that? I said blue, but I think it's blue. No, it wouldn't look blue. It looks it looks gray in color. Oh. Uh, right? Whenever you type something in a header or you type something in a footer in Microsoft Word, when you close off the header and footer, the text looks gray. Understood? Yeah. Yeah? Everybody's okay so far? Yeah. Okay. Part three. Using the letter head created, type the letter, which is on page three. It says to use fully block style. What does fully block style mean? Everything is what? Block in capital. Size. No. Uh, capital bold, bold. No. Not in bold? capital letters. No. See. Style writing. How does block style writing look? Dark, like bold. No. It look ah! Let me see who's on the shot. Who could I ask? Oh, this I cops way. Ah, that is not block I, I, I give up. I was not going to call Vikash. Kevin Charles. Name is. Kevin Charles. Because I have to go on my PC and boot up wood. If you want to to follow along, you can. If you all have access. Yeah. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I bring my phone on time. Why is sound so excited? I don't know because I want to put up a visa. Okay, guys. <laughs> Kevin, are you there on, on the shot? Hello. Yeah, you're there. Can you explain to me what is meant by block style? <clears throat> hey, what? No, it does not. Block style means, guys, okay, block style, when you all do a block style letter, block style means that everything is straight down your margin on the left-hand side. So the names, the addresses, the dates, the paragraphs, everything starts off on the left-hand side of the margin. Do you understand that now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Yeah? So, so fully block style means Everything is straight down on the left hand side of the margin. So there, so there's no um indenting of the first line, nothing goes on the I mean, right hand side. Understood? Yeah. Yeah, miss. Yeah, okay, great. So using the letterhead created, 
tidal and letter on page three in fully block style. And, 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 and fully block style means that everything is on the left-hand side left of the margin. Yes. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't mean it does not mean that it's in capital letters. You are typing it the way how you how, how you see the exercise. Block style simply means type everything on the left hand side. Yeah? Hi, Miss. Okay. With the following margins. Do we remember how to change margins? Um yeah. 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 Okay. Um somebody's scrolling down and I'm not seeing the question anymore. Yeah, well, uh, I am on my PC now. That's really... Oh my God. Bala, can you please go back to the question? Thank you. Perfect. Okay, too much. Go back down. Uh, try to boost up where I boost up. Great. Good. And so, where do we go to set margin, guys? And you all could just add on your points. We go to what? The layout. We can go layout. Perfect. We go on the layout tab, and on the layout tab, you will see what? Page setup and it's a margin. Which, option, which, which, which of my version of Word, Word you are on? I really don't know. Okay. Hold on, I'll tell you. Hold on. So on yeah, if, if it's the one that, we, that we're familiar with in class, on the 2019 version, you will see um, margins. It will be in, inside of your um, layout tab, right? Uh, Excuse me, I can't lose it. You can just tell me what we're doing. Okay, you should have come on time. Sorry, go ahead. Who is this? I don't know who is this. It's a The The class representative. Oh, nice. <laughs> we're looking at. Are you seeing the question on your screen? We're looking at question 2A. So, uh, yeah. 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 So I'm so I'm explaining the third part, right? Okay. So right now everybody's telling me where they're going to get the options for margins. Where do we go? We go the, we go on the for those of us who are using the 2019 version, you will go to the layout and you will see margins and in there somewhere you will see custom margins and that's where you will set your margin option. Got that? Are you all there? Yes. Yeah. The portrait and landscape. Right. Were you talking about? No, go to layout. Are you on 2019 yeah. version? Right. So yeah. in there, they go see on top called layout, and in layout, you'll see the first icon. I got custom margins. Right, perfect. You will right. So for those of you who are trying it out, you go down to custom margins, and in there you would see your margin setup come up, right? Yeah. Now um, on the question, people. Yeah. Excuse one minute, guys. Um, just a gentle reminder: if while Stacy is talking, please mute your mic so that we wouldn't get the background feedback. Please, just like how we did it for maths this morning, we're doing it for EDPM, guys. Thanks. All right, sir. Stacy, go ahead. Sorry. Thank you, no problem. Okay, guys, are you all back again? Now, to get the options for margins, now your, your, your margin setting could be, in, could be either measured in inches, it can be measured in centimeters, got that? How would you know which one of the options to choose? Can anybody answer that question for me? What you say, miss? If you look at the question, your margin settings, it, it's, of, it's of two types. One is in inches, the other is in centimeters. How would you mm -hmm. know which one to use on your computer system? You would use uh, inches. How would you know? Well, but, but I mean, how would, how would you know that? Well, end of it in centimeters, it's just centimeters. And if it was in inches, it would have like the kind of quotes. If your computer is measuring the margins and in inches, when you go to custom margins, you will prob you would see a value and you will see the inches symbol next next to it, which which means now that you will type in how much how much inches, right? If you go to your margin setup and 
and your measurement is in centimeters, it means that you have to use this centimeter setup. Got that, guys? Yeah. So it's either or, and, and you would only know which one your computer is using margin setup. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Yeah. So let's yeah. scroll down. Yeah. So let's scroll down to the other page, Bubba. Follow. All right, so we went slowly. We went on to the next page. This is our page three, right? Let me get back to the top. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the document that you are typing now, right? Now, uh -huh. remember, now remember, before you look at this part of the document, you would have created the letterhead, which is on the top part of the question. Everybody's okay with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And then the first line you will type when you get out of the head on footer would be what? The reference line, right? Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, under the reference line, let's look at the next line. Under the reference line, ooh. Under the reference line, you are seeing current dates. Are you all seeing that? Yes. You can do one of two things here. You can either type in the date manually or you can get the date from on Microsoft Word, right? Yes? Yes. Yeah. If I were to get the date automatically in Word, how would I do that? Do you all know? Yeah. Um, see. Those of you who have your laptops up and you all in Word, tell me, how do we get the um? How would we get the date and type automatically uh, well, just in this case, how would we get the date automatically oh wait how is this sure. oh, okay you're going to insert uh-huh and well any text section it had text box and well it have insert date and time right there next okay so on your insert, insert so on your insert tab there's a grouping called text and in your grouping called text you all will see an option called date and time and i think when you click on date and time you will see a bunch of different formats you all can use for a date so you can choose any date format of your choice everybody's okay with that yeah yeah is everybody understanding what is happening so far yeah, yes. yes everybody everybody yes. is anybody yes okay i understand Everybody's okay, right? Yes. Okay. Remember the instruction on the top. The instruction on the top said that this is fully blocked, which means that everything you all type is coming straight down on the left-hand side of the page. Understood, guys? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. When you type the current date, you go down to the next line. You'll type the person's name. You'll type the person's address. We are typing the salutation. 